I love gadgets, so when I saw this miniature leaf blower I just had to get one. It's USB powered, and it's for blowing away dust. I'm also going to be testing out other USB gadgets like this infinity light tunnel, a plasma ball, and this cup warmer. But we'll start with the blower. It came in this smart looking box, and it's marketed as being the world's smallest blower. There was nothing else inside the box, no instructions or anything. The plastic doesn't feel too thin or flimsy, and the blower tube is removable. Just twist it and pull it off. There's a little clicky on and off button. Here's where the air gets sucked into the fan inside, and it's got a nice long cable. So let's try it out. It makes a bit of noise, but you can definitely feel it blowing. It blows this half shredded paper nicely, and it clears up these from my hole punch. If there's any debris or dust on your keyboard, you can use it to blow it away. You could probably use it to cool your face down on a warm day, or to get rid of any unwanted office work. Just blow it off your desk. It does look really cool and it works okay, but if there's a layer of really well seated dust, it will struggle to remove it. Besides, the main problem with just blowing dust is it doesn't actually get rid of it, it just moves it around. So I'm also going to try out this desktop vacuum. But first we're going to take a look at this USB cup warmer. Don't you hate it when your hot drink cools down too quickly? Well this item supposedly helps keep it warm for longer. It's a wooden surround with an aluminium alloy plate and a sort of felt pad underneath. Just plug it into a USB port, and after a few seconds you can feel it warming up. After leaving it for a few minutes, I'm using this thermometer to measure what temperature it's got to. Oh dear, it just says high. It's obviously not meant to record temperatures as high as this. So I'll try it with this one instead. I lay the probe down on the hot plate and watched as the temperature increased. And it climbed up to nearly 67 degrees Celsius. That's really quite warm. I'm going to test it out and see how it fares against this one. Now this one looks really cool. It's a modern and sleek design and this one is actually mains powered, so it'll be interesting to see how it compares to the USB one. To turn this one on, there's a touch sensitive button on the glass panel on the top. And there's a high temperature and a low temperature mode. I'm using my thermometer to see how hot it gets on the high temperature mode. And to my surprise it went to all the way up to 180 degrees Celsius. That's hot. And if I hold my hand a few inches above the plates, I can really notice the difference. I'm also testing the temperature out on the lower setting. And even this was 129 degrees. To test them, I'm making three cups of black coffee, all in identical mugs. And I'm using one as a control, just sat on the table, one on the USB powered cup warmer, and one on the mains powered one. Let's see how they compare. The initial temperature of them all when I started was 85 degrees Celsius, and after 10 minutes of sitting we can see the control cup has dropped to 60 degrees Celsius, the one on the USB hot plate is now 62 degrees, and the one on the mains powered hot plate is also 62 degrees. That's curious, I was expecting it to be higher. After half an hour the control cup has dropped down to 38.9 degrees C, the USB hot plate is keeping it at 43.8 degrees C, but with the mains powered one we've got a temperature of 46.2 degrees. That's significantly warmer than the control. The mains powered one does seem to keep the drink the hottest, but there's not a huge difference between the results. I wonder if a different style of mug may affect the outcome, but I'll definitely be using this one to keep my drinks warm this winter. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, hang on a minute. These hot plates remind me of this USB fridge which I reviewed a few months ago. It's a really cool gadget and I'll put a link to it at the end of the video in case you want to watch it. But next we're going to try out this mini electrifying plasma orb. Neon gases inside the orb create colourful streams of plasma from the central electrode. Touch the orb and watch your finger become an energy conductor right before your eyes. Yeah, it's a mini plasma ball powered from a USB lead. It comes with a lead like this which we need to plug into the unit and I'm powering it from a computer. Flick the switch, and there we go. I do love these things. The sphere on this one's about 3 inches in diameter, and it's really cool to play with. Take your mind off work for a minute and absorb yourself with plasma. As well as powering it from the USB cord, you can also power it with 4 AA batteries. There's a cover on the bottom held closed with a screw, but using batteries does make it really nice and portable. It's a fun novelty gift, but it does feel a bit cheaply made. Mine doesn't sit flat, it's got a bit of a wobble to it. And the other thing is it's not particularly bright, it really does work best in low light. Next I'm going to look at this infinity mirror tunnel light. This one's round, but you can get them in all sorts of shapes. On the face of it, it's a plastic box with a mirror that sits on the desk, but wait till I turn it on. 
It comes with a protective film to stop any scratches, so peel that off. And if I turn it over, you can see we can also power it with batteries. There's a little on and off switch down here, and they supply a power cable which plugs in here. I sat it down next to the computer and plugged it into the USB port. Switch it on, and check this out. It's like a crazy long tunnel. You get the illusion you can really look down into it and see depth. The colours slowly change and fade. And you see these huge long lines of LEDs. It's really clever, I love it. Another thing to distract you from your work. And talking of cool ideas, next I'm going to look at this USB clock fan. Open up the packaging, and it actually feels really nicely made. There's a bit of weight to it. Here are the fan blades, and you can see on this one there's an embedded circuit board with mini LED lights. There's a little push button on the side here, and a USB plug on the other end. I'm plugging it into my computer, then you can angle it to whatever direction you like. Turn it on, the fan starts spinning, then it slowly illuminates a clock face. How cool is that? If you need to, you can rotate the body to change the orientation of the clock face, and you can set the time by keeping your finger on the button. Look at that, that's really cool. It gives off a nice airflow, and you've got this amazing floating clock face. Another really cool gadget. Next we're going to look at this Henry desk vacuum. It's a miniature version of a full-sized one, and it says it's the perfect little companion for your desktop. Fear not the rising tide of dust and crumbs, for Henry, a true icon of domestic life, is here to take away the bad things with a smile. So let's have a look. I removed it from the box, and it looks really cute. It's nice and thick, sturdy plastic, and even the four wheels spin. His hat unlocks and lifts off, and inside here are the attachments. Unfortunately, this gadget isn't USB powered, so we need to run it from three AA batteries. It's not a problem, but it would be really cool if it was USB rechargeable. Let's open up the attachments and see what we've got. I'm fixing these together, making sure they're nice and tight so we don't get a vacuum leak. Then push it onto Henry's nose. Fit his hat back on, and there's even a little carry handle here on the top. Switch it on with this push button, and it's ready to vacuum. I'm going to test it out on these crumbs left over from lunch. And it's picked up those really well. These are pieces of paper that fell out from my hole punch. No problem there. And for my computer keyboard, I'm going to swap it over for this attachment. So I can vacuum in between the keys. Again, it's not super powerful, but it's definitely got enough to pick up small pieces of debris. But it might struggle a bit with well-settled dust. It's a cool little desktop companion, I really like it. Here's the USB fridge I mentioned earlier. Please do consider subscribing or give the video a like if you've enjoyed it. Have fun, stay safe, and as always, thanks for watching.